Hello everybody and welcome to Cover to Cocktails. Uh, this is our September episode, uh, making a drink, our cocktail. Uh, our book for September was Good Neighbors by Sarah Langan. I think I got that right. Um, and in honor of it, we are going to be making a drink called The Sinkhole. <laughs> and so I, the, the reason we're doing a drink called The Sinkhole is because I feel like the sinkhole plays a major part in the book. I mean, yeah. there's, right, Susan, I feel like it, it yeah, there, um, there are some insinuations that maybe the reason that everything happened in the neighborhood was because of the sinkhole. There's multiple um, talk about, you know, the sinkhole spinning up bitumen. Um, and if you haven't read the book, turn this off because it's going to be a spoiler. Uh, a girl falls down the sinkhole. Like the sinkhole is a major part. <laughs> yeah, I, I think if the sinkhole wasn't there, most of it wouldn't have happened. That is probably a fair assessment. So yeah. we turn the star of the book <laughs> into <laughs> our drink, the sinkhole. Um, so this one is going to be a uh, more like a martini type of drink um, and I don't have a really good martini glass so I'm just going to put it in my rocks glass but Susan she's on this she has an awesome uh, martini glass so the base of the drink is going to be uh, creme de cacao and vanilla vodka so I put dark creme de cacao. That's what I was hoping for because um, uh, the sinkhole is spitting up bitumen. So I actually wanted a drink that was going to be kind of really dark looking. Susan, had a, you had a hard time finding this, right? I did. I went to two different liquor stores and could not find dark. So I went with light. With light. I'll, I'll just add some extra and syrup. So, yeah, I was going to say. So this drink has syrup. And so um, if you want, Susan, because we're going to put a little syrup on top, but if you want to help make yours darker, you could take and like either squirt it. That's a good idea. You could squirt it into your shaker when we shake stuff, or you could take and do some swirlies on the inside of your martini glass. So, oh, yeah. Which I'm going to try to choose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, the first thing we're going to do, uh, we need three and a half ounces and we're going to put this in a shaker, uh, with some ice. And so we're going to do three and a half ounces of the creme de cacao. Trying to get me drunk. I know. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have a whole lot else to do today. <laughs> um, I'm not drinking today. Three. A bit too much. And a half. All right. And then we're going to do one and a half ounces of the vanilla vodka. So the flavors, I almost think it's going to be kind of like a Neapolitan ice cream. Except Ooh. instead of, because the, the, pink color in Neapolitan ice cream is strawberry and instead ours is going to be more of a cherry but I think it's going to be similar to that that's what I'm hoping for smells really good <laughs> doing like one and a half shots of the vanilla vodka all right um are you putting I, I'm interested are you putting your chocolate in the shaker I think I'm going to put it in the glass all right cool so it's in the shaker. Oh, my shaker lid doesn't like to stay on. We're going to shake this for about 30 seconds. So two, three, go. Just in time. All right. 
And so we're going to strain this. We're not going to put any ice in it. We're just going to strain this directly into our glass. So I'm going to try to add my chocolate sauce. Makes a pretty, uh... sorry, I just had to have a sip off the top because I didn't have enough room for my cream in there. <laughs> so, Susan, you don't have to fill it all the way. But just, um, yeah, make sure you leave room for cream on top. Perfect. How much cream? So here's mine. Uh, not a ton. I know I sipped some on mine out too because it made a lot. So here is mine with the dark and then Susan's with the light. So here's my bitumen sinkhole. And then they had a cover over the sinkhole. So in honor of that, we're going to put some whipping cream as our wood cover on our sinkhole. And so shake. we have, this is heavy, heavy cream. And so I'm just going to shake it a little to give it a little bit more texture. Um, how, how much cream do I need? So Susan, if you're going to pour it in, we're going to just do like maybe an ounce or two and just okay. pour it over the back of a spoon. Oh, I'm going to shake it in my shaker for a second. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So Seems I'm like just shaking mine in a container. Might not work because there's some liquid still in here, but <laughs> spilled. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about making messes here, for real. Like, I'm surprised I haven't spilled <laughs> all over my laptop or my counter during any of these yet. So we'll get there. We'll have, like, a disaster at some point. <laughs> so I'm just shaking mine for about 30 seconds. And I think I'm going to have a little bit more sippy out of it because I need a little bit more room. Okay. Let's see what happens here besides the spill. And then we're going to layer it on top. And so when you do that, it's best if you just pour it over the back of a spoon to create a nice layer over top of it. And so here's what mine looks like now. You have your sinkhole bitumen with a little bit of a plank on top there. Okay. And then for a little bit of accoutrement. Oh, Susan's smart, you have a towel. <laughs> Wish. Well, we got really silly here, so. How are you doing? Where are you at? Do you need me to hold yeah. it for a second? No, I'm ready. What's next? next? All right, we're gonna do a little bit of chocolate drizzle on top, but we're also gonna do that over a spoon so that some of it'll sink, but a lot of it might just swirl on the top. There we go. And so I have, you know, some of mine sank in, but then some of mine is also just swirled on top there. All right. And I'll take a good picture of mine. We're going to post it so people can see. And then our last thing is we're going to do some grenadine. And this one we're going to layer in too, but it's going to sink to the bottom. So it's going to be similar like what you do with a tequila sunrise, um, where it kind of drops down and then kind of swirls in amongst it. But we're only going to use about a quarter of a shot of grenadine, so not a whole lot. And then we're going to use our trusty spoon again. And we're just going to pour it off the spoon into the drink. And that's going to make it just sink right to the bottom. So when you're layering stuff, you think about like specific densities of different types of liquor. So the cream will rise to the top because of its density and then the liquors in the middle and the grenadine being very sugary and heavy. 
sinks to the bottom. So that's kind of our layering cool. methods here. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a little cherry on top, just for good measure. Oh, mine's just sinking in the cream. Never mind. If mine's just gonna cherry on top, then you don't need to. <laughs> It looks pretty yeah. enough as it is. I might just leave my cherry because, you know, I love maraschino cherries. And now it's got whipped cream on it. And I probably have it all over my face. So, awesome. And okay. Yours looks nicer. No, yours looks beautiful, Susan. And I love the red in there with it. That's awesome. And with the chocolate on it. So. It's kind of oily like the. Like the bitumen that came out of the sinkhole. <laughs> right? Your bitumen is the swirl in there. So, All right, everybody. So um, I highly encourage you to give this one a try. I think it's going to be delicious. Um, let us know if you like it. We're on all of our social media. We're on YouTube. We are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. Right, Susan? We are. So we're going to post all of this stuff. Um, and then at the end of the month, you'll get to see our review of how we like the drink and how we like the book. So until then, cheers. Ooh, cheers. <laughs> All right. And have a cocktail, read a book, and be happy, everybody. <laughs>